Whatever you might be confronting right now that is difficult and maybe you're just becoming aware of it or maybe you've been aware of it for a long time and you're like, oh, this again, <laughs> like why? <laughs> Um, because the, the important thing and the, and the way to start really shifting it is to understand that those problems, if you want to call it that, or those negative emotions, if you want to call it that, um, attachments, whatever, um, those are actually not your burdens. They're your, they're your opportunities to grow and expand. They're what you're meant to transmute. So if you can start to change the narrative about what those are in your life, and start looking at these things as like, okay, here we are again, but this is this is not something I need to be shameful of or something that I need to like run away from or something that is I just... I need to wish out of my system. Yeah, like, oh, I'm this horrible person or this thing is just like the death of me. This is, you're never going to be able to solve it. You're never going to be able to get over it because it's not a sustainable platform to actually change because you're trying to fight darkness with darkness and, yeah. and it's never going to work so instead i really challenge those of you that are watching this as we are going through these transitions um, to really start greeting your obstacles as your opportunities and and really change the narrative of what is going on like okay like this is it and that's going to give you an energetic platform that is so much more sustainable to really make the change and and it just gives you so much more energy and fuel to not just give you the change but it also gives you the opportunity to just rewrite the relationship with yourself yeah so yeah and and honestly if you're having a hard time gra grabbing a hold of how you're viewing these things as opportunities there's so many experiences in your past that i guarantee if you did just a rewind through the photo album of your life right now that you would say at the times that you were going through it you didn't understand how it was an opportunity for you you thought it was a horrible situation or you didn't understand why you were stuck in it but now that you're moved beyond it you look back and you see how it was one of the best things that ever happened to you or that it led you down a certain path or it gave you this learning or whatever the case may be but if you can train your mind and do what Annalise is saying immediately and stop making it wrong and say, okay, well, there's here, there's not poor me. How does this serve me? And then like she's saying, what is the opportunity? How does this serve me? What is the opportunity? Mm -hmm. Then you're embracing it. Yeah. Then it's becoming like, it was like if you go and work out and you, you want to like lift more or do something or challenge yourself, you're looking at it. If it's difficult, it's actually good because you're pushing mm -hmm. yourself to the next limit. Totally. And to speak on that again, as we said earlier, what exists on the other side of this obstacle? And instead, again, of being like, this is killing me and taking my energy and drowning me and I can't get out again, just to reiterate, approaching it from, okay, what is on the other side of this obstacle is so much better than I've ever allowed myself to be able to receive before. Yeah, it's like, like when you go and work out, you know that yeah. you're going to get in, in shape or you're going to be able to run that that whatever distance or do that marathon or whatever yeah. the case may be or get stronger or lift more or whatever. Yeah. So you push yourself because you see that you're going to benefit. Exactly. And it comes back to the underlying issue, which I'm seeing is like a very foundational thing through this period of transition, which comes back to receiving. And a lot of it has to do with we can get attached to our obstacles. Um, and this is just like a, a neuron network in the brain. Like you can get attached to your patterns. We know that <laughs> like as your normal, as your self identity, as like the way you see, you get tunnel visioned into your operating system. And I think this is why, well, I don't think this is why people <laughs> have been struggling so hard and myself included. I'm sure Christina at some points as well in various components, we're all human. Um, but I, it's so important to understand that we, uh, yeah, like we are going to, it's just really important that you approach all of your obstacles right now that you're being asked to review and look at and transition and understand like what is on the other side of this and is this really just about learning to love myself more and learning how to receive and yeah. opening up to a bigger level of energy. Because when you don't, this is where it's like, if you think about how you're enjoying this so far, if you forget to subscribe, make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one, you know, the one. Just press it, little like, 
All right, enjoy the rest of this content. This is where it's like, if you think about how energy works, right? And, and you're holding on, as Christina was saying earlier, like congesting the energy field with things, attachments, things that you think are valuable, things that you think are, um, you know, whatever, like serving you or the best that you can have. At that moment, you are instantly denying yourself of the unknowns. You're instantly denying yourself of life. And yeah. so if we're not living and thriving, then we are dying and we are going through erosion and death. And so... It's important to realize that when you do that as well, it's like all of this energy is still trying to reach you. It's still trying to come in and be like, nope, like you deserve more. <laughs> like, yeah. And it will just keep hitting you in the head. So I'm sure many of you have realized that maybe some of the things that have have literally been the biggest obstacles of your life, like up to this point, or if certainly in the last seven years, they're all at the forefront right now. Yeah. Every single one of those things, like, Every little freaking detail that you can think of is at the forefront. And that is the point. <laughs> so, well, well, and, yeah. and with what Annalise is saying, and I think that, you know, you saying that you've been there from time to time, I've been there, everybody. What I want people to take away from this is that if life is like a game and we're constantly leveling up, we constantly have to continue to challenge ourselves. We constantly have to be facing new obstacles. And that means that we're constantly getting to the next level in life. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. And so I know a lot of people say, oh, not another thing. Or, oh, my God, I just got done with this. And now here's this again. And when is it going to just get easy and be joyous? Honestly, I don't think you'd be happy if it was. If it was smooth rainbows and butterflies every day, because then you wouldn't be evolving. And like, you know, you were just saying, if, you, if you're not evolving and growing, you're decaying and dying. Yeah, and for, for sure. Did you have something? No, no, no. Oh, but, yeah. but just, just the point being that, you know, like, just know that no matter you get through an obstacle, there's going to be another obstacle. And there's going to be another obstacle. But when you stop viewing it as something negative, and you look at it, how it's building you, growing you, and evolving you, you are going to greet them with joy. Yeah, and even changing like the internal narrative or the language around like you using the you are using the word obstacle, which is actually a great word. Like when I hear obstacle, I think of Indiana Jones, which is fun. But I really want to challenge some of you uh, who, and again, like I said, like we all have it. Um, to just also like check your language. What is the internal narrative around what these things are that you are going through and making just a simple adjustment of like, okay, this is something that's coming up right now. If I'm finding myself here again, or maybe I'm finding myself dealing with this for the first time, what's whatever, so be it. Um, I know this is a bit repetitive, but like, okay, well, what is the opportunity in this? Mm -hmm. What is this trying to show me? Where do I? Where can I make adjustments out of my tunnel vision and the way that I do things to really open up and receive? Again, it comes back to this receiving component. So, now is there yeah. anything this content? That make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time. Have a beautiful, blessed day.